So I picked up a pair of these, uh, I guess they're called flute lamps. They've got the glass flute in the middle, and then uh, they usually come with a, like a milk glass outer globe. Uh, but I picked these things up, a pair of them, for $5. And they were both missing the outer uh, globes. And these are perfect platforms for a wooden lampshade. Which is exactly what I'm going to do for this week's video. Now what this is, is a 16 segment chart. It's kind of a cheat sheet. Uh, I've got a bunch of these things for different numbers of segments. But they tell me exactly what the outside length of each segment should be for any diameter I would need uh, segmented ring. And the base diameter that I need uh, for this lamp is 10 inches across. So first I cut my lumber down to size and then I'll start cutting the segments accordingly. Now this is just a little slid that I made for uh, 16 segment rings and both of the angles that you see there are 11.25 degrees. And I've used this enough times to know that uh, it's just about right on the money. Uh, these segments should fit perfectly. So I'm just going to show you the making of one ring, uh, but I actually had to cut 16 rings worth of uh, segments at different lengths uh, to make the globes for both of the lamps. And this is one of the few times in the video you're going to see both uh, lamp globes uh, in the same shot here. But the next step is to sand these things down flat. And I don't have a uh, one of those expensive drum sanders, so I've just got sandpaper glued to plywood, uh, which my faceplate is screwed onto, connected to the lathe which I would recommend to anybody. It's pretty handy. You gotta watch your fingers though, because it'll rake the skin right off your knuckles if you're not careful. And then it's just a matter of gluing all the rings together. And kind of a lengthy process uh, the way I do it or the way I usually do it which is uh, one ring at a time and I use the tailstock of the lathe to press the new ring onto the uh, older rings. So here I'm sanding the other side of the ring flat. It's just easier this way. And then the next ring will have one flat side that I use that disc, uh, disc sander on. And I'll connect those two together using uh, tight bond wood glue. And like I said, the tail stock as the clamp. You'll 
you'll see that here in a minute. And there's no need to sand uh, beyond 80 grit uh, when you're joining pieces of wood together. It's just, I'd say, the perfect grit for a good glue application. Gives it a little bit of bite. I start turning at 650 RPM just because it's a little bit out of balance. It's not too bad and there's not a lot of weight there. But even so, I want to take it easy. I don't want this thing to go flying. I'm confident that the glue is going to hold up. But even so, So once I got the the bigger diameter pieces uh, in balance, at least outwardly, I sped the lathe up to 800 and pretty much kept it there the rest of the turn. I'll talk more about that later.
This is one of my longer videos, so I figured I better speed up some of the footage. This is about the normal spot where I'd show some subscriber uh, projects, but in this video I'm showing a subscriber projects uh, as part of the mail day because he actually sent me pictures uh, on a thumb drive in the mail. So stick around after the project. I got some amazing things in the mail. So this just happened. Got a package in the mail. And there it is. How about that? I have all of you to thank for this. Unbelievable. Honestly, I never thought I'd get one of these. Just amazing. I really can't thank you all enough. I mean, I'm, I'm speechless. Thank you. So all I'm doing from here on out is trying to get this uh, globe as thin as I possibly can. And I could only get it so thin. I got it less than an eighth of an inch, which is pretty thin, but... It didn't matter what speed I turned this at, 650, 800, uh, and even all the way down to 250, I think, is my low limit for my lathe. Uh, it still was flexing as it spun, which you'll hear right now. You hear that chatter? That chatter is the globe flexing, so... I just had to stop my thinning process, otherwise I would just poke right through it. That's okay. 
you can see here that uh, there's some areas that are more thin than others and there's some rings that are uh, a little bit more translucent than others uh, it's pretty I love how how red that light is as it filters through the wood just gorgeous I would have liked it to have been thinner but I'm happy with it as it turned out now here I've got it flipped around and mounted onto the cold jaws or jumbo jaws which if you've ever used these things you know you need to be really careful if you're not supported with the uh, tailstock because cold jaws have a tendency to let go of what they're holding on to at least that's my experience I've had projects go uh, flying across the shop for no particular reason other than me using just a little bit too much force so I'm just really taking it easy here very gentle very deliberate cuts with a very sharp tool and I've got a little bit of hollowing to do as well because my uh, chuck jaws were holding on to the inside of that hole right there so I couldn't uh, get it as thin as I would have liked it so here I'm just using my bowl gouge as a shear scraper and it gets the job done nicely And I sanded both the globes down to 500 grit, or I should say up to 500 grit. And then I just applied some paste wax. Lots of figure in that wood. Well, let's turn off that overhead light and see what it really looks like. There we go. Let me know what you think. I sure appreciate you watching. Well, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stick around. There's more coming. Semper Fi. I got an email from retired Captain Bill Lowry, and he basically said, get off your butt and go check your mail. I sent you something. So, being a good Marine, I said, aye, sir, and I went to the post office. Happy birthday, Marine. Captain Bill's Woodshop.com. We'll check that out. Oh, wow.
to personalized pen. Master Sergeant Rod Humphrey Semperfy. That's amazing. Thank you, Bill. I really appreciate it. Well. That's awesome. This one's from, it's got to be England. That's pretty. This is from Jill Davies. Very nice. I really appreciate it, Jill. I'm glad you uh, glad you liked your coffee scoop. Everybody can see that. That's awesome. It means a lot to me, Jill. Rod, let me start by saying thank you for your service to our country. That means a lot to me. I, I, I never expect that from anybody. Um, oh, okay. All right, well, tell you what, your photos will be in this video. Hey, Louie, you make some beautiful things. I appreciate you sharing with me and everybody else. I'll get a sticker out to you soon. Uh, let's see. This one is from uh, Mr. Michael Galtz. I'm probably saying your name wrong, too. I apologize, sir. This is my second package from Mike. The first one I'm hesitant to share because it's such a personal item. Uh, you know what? Hold on, hold on a second. Let me go get that first thing. Just hold on. I don't think I showed this before. Uh, I know that uh, the video I did for the Marine Corps birthday this year, which I just simply paid, uh, played the Marines hymn at the end, uh, I was really tempted to show this gift. Um, Excuse me, but this is, uh, it's just an amazing, amazing pen with, with little pieces of sand from the beaches of Iwo Jima. Hopefully you can see that. I've been to Iwo Jima. I've stood exactly where they were raising that flag on top of Mount Suribachi. And it's, uh, it's just amazing. I actually landed on uh, Red One Beach. Took LCUs in from the ship. It's quite an experience quite an experience but uh, Mike I sure I sure will treasure this for the rest of my life let's see what's in the box wow wow that's gorgeous Yeah, I'll have to think about this one. That is a beautiful piece of wood right there.
Oh, these are the 50 cal pen sets or pen kits. Wow. I'll look forward to making these. These are. Yeah, I can see these are going to be beasts of pens, but very cool. This is for a duck call. Nice. And this is a pepper mill and uh, pepper or salt mill parts. I'm going to leave this wrapped up. Oh, mill parts. Okay. So this goes with this. Thank you very much, everybody. I sure appreciate it.